glyoxylate cycle. The glyoxylate cycle involves conversion of fats into carbohydrates. It is a variation of tricarboxylic acid cycle especially occurring in the plants, bacteria and fungi. Animals including man cannot carry out this net synthesis of carbohydrates so glyoxylate cycle is not seen in humans. The glyoxylate cycle occurs in glyoxisomes which are called as specialized peroxisomes. And now let us talk about the reactions of glyoxylate cycle. Acetyl coenzyme A is produced from the oxidation of fatty acids and the condensation of this acetyl coenzyme A with oxaloacetate forms citrate. Citrate which is then isomerized to isocitrate and the isocitrate is cleaved to succinate and glyoxylate by an enzyme isocitrate lase. Acetyl coenzyme A condenses with glyoxylate to form malate in the presence of an enzyme malate synthetase. Finally, malate is oxidized to oxaloacetate and so formed oxaloacetate enters into gluconeogenic pathway to form glucose which is the chief source of energy and this is what is about the overall view of glyoxylate cycle and what is the clinical significance related to this pathway. This pathway is very important in germinating seed where the stored triacylglycerol which is the fat converted to sugar to meet the energy requirements. So by this we completed so called glyoxylate cycle.